the marketing techniques that you use for content like what kind of content do you guys create for your product marketing and uh, how have you seen the results of doing content marketing for your brands uh terry sure so right now it's all digital okay. um i think i think in a world where uh you know you can speak to a you know a qualified or certified human to get mm -hmm. advice on wellness and nutrition um, and do that in like a one-to-one -one way that feels, that feels like a really great memorable experience that you can trust and you can take that information to then go, mm -hmm. um, and inform, you know, food choices and decisions for someone who can't choose for themselves. Um, in this case, your dog or your dogs. Yeah. Um, but right now, you know, all of our marketing is digital. Our primary channels are, um, email content marketing, organic and paid social and search. Mm -hmm. um, display and retargeting. So what we're trying to do um, is really kind of take, you know, this world of a very kind of scientific information and research and then put it in really kind of what I call snackable um, content experiences and then push that through these channels and, and really just reinforce it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I know that I personally learned through pet ownership is, um, you know, you buy a bag of food, you presume it's fantastic because of the claims on the bag or mm -hmm. a recommendation from a friend or a family member. Um, but you never really like turn that bag over and look yeah. at the ingredient panel or the guaranteed analysis, nor do some people even know what a guaranteed analysis is um, mm -hmm. or what the regulatory body in the pet food or pet feed industry is and, and how they qualify nutrition. Um, yeah, and so I think that education is absolutely critical. Um, mm -hmm. specifically in the food space to delineate between good options and not so great options. Um, and then putting it in a digital format where people can through an IG story, you know, basically acquire information that mm -hmm. allows them to go and take the bag out of the cupboard, turn it around, understand how to process that information mm -hmm. um, and potentially make a better choice for the next bag that they buy. Um, cool. and, and I think, you know, in an, in an email format, it's really lovely to have editorial experiences on a blog. You can also kind of have a more long winded, um, editorialized education experience, but on social and on search, it's just like quick hit information that yeah. really kind of serves the customer in, in the best way. And our intention is kind of built around like giving them the information and whether they buy mm -hmm. with Jinx or without Jinx, they're just equipped to make better decisions. And so content is critical. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, there's like the DR version of content. And that's yeah. where we do a lot of testing and a lot of iterating to understand like what messages are compelling, what serves as a hook, what lands, what drives traffic, what drives conversion. Um, but, but really, the education piece is so important. 